One of the best features of most keyboard phones was the keyboard shortcuts such as those on the Blackberries and the Unihertz Titans. This feature lets you launch your app or task with a keystroke. Unfortunately, the Minimal phone does not have keyboard shortcuts out of the box. If you start typing on the Minimal launcher home screen, it will do a search for the app. But you can add this feature by installing and using the Blackberry launcher. And you can add more functionality by installing a button mapper app. I like to use Buttons Remapper by Irishin. The Blackberry launcher is free, but the long press keys won't work with the minimal phone, only the short presses. The Buttons Remapper app also lets you limit key presses to the launcher screen to achieve keyboard shortcuts functionality on its own, but from my experience it's been very inconsistent. So to keep everything functioning smoothly, I'm using the BlackBerry Launcher for its short click home screen keyboard shortcuts and also using buttons remapper to make the most of other keys on this phone. There are other button remapper apps out there but I have already paid for this to get premium features back when I was using the Unihertz Titan and the Titan Slim. So I'm sticking with it. If you know of another button mapper app that you like let me know in the comments. Keep in mind you don't have to install both. Blackberry Launcher will get you home screen single click shortcuts on its own. Or if you prefer simply using the built-in minimal launcher, you can use the button remapper's features on their own. First, the BlackBerry Launcher. You'll have to be comfortable using software from 2019, which I am. However, you won't find it simply by searching for it on Google Play. But if you use the link in the description, it will open the Google Play Store directly to the BlackBerry Launcher install page. You'll have to get a link directly to the Play Store install page. Click on the link in the description of this video or my other video. You must be logged into the Chrome browser. If you don't, it will say that this page is not found for some reason. So make sure you're logged into your Chrome browser and the link will take you directly to the install page. It will install directly from here so there is no need for APKs from questionable sites if that makes you feel better. Once installed, click on the open button and change the settings so that the BlackBerry launcher is your default home app. Next, go through the introduction screens and if you want the BlackBerry Spark red icon, you can give it permission to notifications from this prompt. Otherwise, just go ahead and continue. By default, if you press a key once the launcher is installed on the home screen, it will ask you if you want to assign a shortcut or you can simply long hold the screen and go into the settings. Make sure the typing action setting is set to use keyboard shortcuts. Then back out and set your keyboard shortcuts. Remember like I said before, the long presses will not register on this phone. So all those entries will be ignored. Only set up for the short presses. Here I'm going to set up the S key to launch my stock browser which is going to be Webull. Once that's set, whenever you're in the home screen, you can click on S to launch your assigned app. Here's Webull. To get additional functionality from the other keys on your minimal phone, install Buttons Remapper from the Play Store. Search for Buttons Remapper and it's by Irishin. Install it and give it the necessary permissions and make sure that the service is enabled. The key combinations I'm using are only on the premium version of this app. I find it very useful especially on keyboard phones and well worth the one-time cost. Press the Add button on the bottom right corner. If you don't see it, try refreshing the screen manually with the side key on the minimal phone. Sometimes it's not visible if you're using the light mode, but it is visible if you enable dark mode. You can assign the navigation keys for additional functionality. I have the home key assigned to long hold for voice assist because it's not enabled for some reason on this phone. I also assigned long holding the right side button, which is the recents key, to trigger the screenshot. And the manual screen refresh key, I assigned a double press for the flashlight. Even if you didn't press it fast enough, the worst thing that will happen if you enable this is that your screen will refresh. So I find it a good choice to get to the flashlight quickly. Lastly, I set up the right shift key in combination with the volume up and down keys to adjust the screen brightness.
You'll have to enable another permission for this. One last thing to do is to give the Buttons Remapper app unrestricted battery usage so the service won't be killed. Go to Settings Apps View All Apps if it's not shown in the Recents list. Go into the app, and then down to App Battery Usage. Choose Unrestricted. If you like keyboard phones, this app adds a lot of functionality and for me it was worth the one-time price. Now make your phone work the way you want it to. If you have a nice shortcut or action that you've created, let me know in the comments.